beer, wine, and cocktails. Sometimes you just need one after and during a long Disney day. We've already given you four recommendations, but how about five more? Find out where we like to go for an adult beverage today on Walt Disney World Adults Only. Welcome, your Royal Highnesses. I'm Taylor with Walt Disney World Adults Only. Since our first video was so popular, we've decided to make a part two to give you some more great recommendations about where to find a drink in Disney. I will link the first video in the description down below. So after today, you will have nine awesome recommendations for places to stop for beer, a glass of wine, or a nice cocktail when you're in Walt Disney World. By accident, today's video is only going to be taking us to two places, Epcot and Hollywood Studios. But the five bars, lounges, and carts that we will be discussing today are super cool and unique. So whether you want to sit back and relax while staring at the Eiffel Tower, or get down and boogie with a space DJ, there is undoubtedly going to be a recommendation on this list for you. First, we're going to take you to Epcot. And this spot isn't a bar or a lounge, but a cart where you can find some really delicious drinks. Courtney, tell us about it. Thanks, Taylor. Yes, one of my favorite places to grab a drink at Epcot on a hot afternoon is gonna be Les Vins des Chefs de France. This is in the French Pavilion, and it is just a walk-up location. It is not inside can't go in and sit down. What I like about it is the fact that I can just grab a drink and keep going. What you're gonna wanna order here is gonna be the Grand Marnier slushy. It's sweet, it's tangy, and it only takes one to get you feeling super magical. I like visiting this location at Epcot. It is outside, it is convenient, and the line moves really quickly. I love the Grand Marnier slush that it is easy to hold and walk, but I could also sit at one of the nearby tables and watch the French acrobats, I guess you would call them, do their little performance on the chairs and the bottles and give me a heart attack. Now, Jackie's location is just a few countries away. Jackie, tell us about it. Thanks, Courtney. Tutu Gusto is a hidden gem in the Italy Pavilion in Epcot. It's located next to Tutu Italia. I find it it's a nice, quiet place to grab a drink and relax and try a couple of new wines. The atmosphere is cozy, calm, peaceful. It's also nice and cool for those blazing hot Florida summer days. In short, it makes you feel like they've turned a wine cellar into a nice, cool place to go and relax. I especially love coming here when Epcot becomes way too busy for my liking. You can even do small tapas style plates and order off the menu from Tutto Italia. I'm quite the novice when it comes to wine, so I like to try all the wine flights. I like to try each type of wine because then I don't have to commit to a whole glass. On my trip in 2018, I chose the Grand Tour. It was about $30. It was six different two ounce pours of wine starting with Prosecco and then two whites, two reds, and ending with a dessert wine. I'm not seeing it on the menu at the moment, but I hope they bring it back soon. I highly recommend this hidden gem at Epcot. Do you enjoy the slushy card or the wine cellar, Taylor? I love a good French slushy, but I haven't been to the wine cellar yet, but it is now officially on my list. Thanks, Courtney and Jackie. Next, we're gonna head over to Hollywood Studios. Both Carol and Natalie have favorite spots here, though they're a bit different. Let's start with Carol. Carol, where do you find yourself stopping to get a drink? Taylor, there's some great places to get a cocktail at Disney World, but in Hollywood Studios, my favorite is the Brown Derby Lodge. I like to combine 
an experience or entertainment as I'm having my cocktail because really if you have the recipe your local bartender could recreate most of the Disney beverages right so I like to go for the experience I want to make it special I want to know that I'm at Walt Disney World at Hollywood Studios sitting on the corner of Hollywood Boulevard as you have your cocktail in the outdoor lounge is wonderful fun you can see people walking by sometimes you get to see characters uh, you used to be able to see a bit of the Star Wars extravaganza when it was there so there was a lot of entertainment value as you're enjoying your cocktails they offer many different kinds of cocktails but my favorites are the flights and I've had two of the three flights there I've had the margarita flight and the sparkling flight now the margarita flight consists of three different types of margaritas and it's a great value so a single margarita is $15 the flight has three for $17 so I was expecting you know just a little taste of each of the three margaritas and I was really surprised at the hefty pour in each of them. Now, the sparkling flight normally can only get inside the restaurant, but if you ask the bartender to make it, they generally do. It's called sparkling instead of a champagne flight because you can't say champagne unless that sparkling wine has come from the Champagne region in France. And one of those did, but two didn't. All three of them were delicious. If you want a nice little elegant cocktail as you're watching people go by, I'd highly recommend that. Now they also have a martini flight, but it has two vodkas and one gin. And I'm not a gin drinker, so I didn't attempt that. Now I would advise against trying two of those flights at once or else you might see like little green men around. They were quite potent. Natalie, you also have a favorite at Hollywood Studios, but I think yours is a little bit newer place. What's your favorite? Thanks, Carol. Now, my favorite place to get an adult beverage at Walt Disney World is the Baseline Tap House. This is a pub that's located in Hollywood Studios and it has hands down been my favourite place over the last few years to get a drink. I really like Baseline Tap House as it's a very fun environment and um, it's quite laid back and it's just great overall to just sit and watch the world go by. There's plenty of outdoor seating so you can soak up that um, nice Florida weather. My favourite thing to get a drink here is a beer flight where you can choose four separate um, drinks of your choice um, so that you get to try a few different things. I tend to pair my beer flight with the pretzels that are available as well here um, which makes a great pairing. My favourite drink to get in my beer flight um, are the IPAs that are available. I really like the beer flight um, as it means that you can try four separate options and if you don't like one thing oh well but if you do like something you can always go back and get a bigger order of it. So Taylor, have you visited the Brown Derby Lounge or Baseline Tap House? What's your favourite place to get a drink at Hollywood Studios? Thanks Carol and Natalie. I haven't been to the Brown Derby Lounge yet but I had the margarita flight with lunch on my last visit and absolutely loved it. The martini flight is definitely my next go-to. And Baseline Tap House is a must-do every trip for my husband and I because we are huge beer drinkers. We absolutely love it there. But when I'm visiting Hollywood Studios, I like to go out of this world, which is why you will find me at Oga's Cantina. You'll find Oga's in Galaxy's Edge just around the corner from the Millennium Falcon. The first thing you need to know about this bar is you actually need an advanced dining reservation to get in there. I will link Dan's video all about ADRs in the description down below, but you do it the same way you would when booking breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Oga's Cantina is a local spot where bounty hunters, smugglers, rogue traders, and weary travelers of all ages come together to refuel, enjoy music, and conduct meetings. No questions asked. Here, while boogieing down to the tunes of DJ Rex, you can imbibe on some super interesting cocktails. I have tried a lot of them. Don't judge me. 
and I haven't disliked a single one. Most of the drinks are fruit-based and many have a unique twist like lip-numbing foam and cloud swirls. I'm a fan of the Bespin Fizz, the Outer Rim, and the Yub Nub. I drink out of my mug quite a bit when I'm at home. They also offer unique Star Wars beers, wines, and a cider. My husband brought home that Rancor tooth flight board after our first visit there. They also have a couple of light snack options, but I've never personally tried those. I'm there for the booze and the cantina band song. <laughs> The theming here is on point. Every inch of the bar is unique and during normal times, it's an absolute party in there. My one warning is this place is not cheap. The cheapest cocktail you can find is $15 and they only go up from there. But there is a 45 minute maximum when you're visiting Oga, so that does help with the budgeting a little. You can't just sit there and drink and drink and drink all day long. In my mind, Oga's is a must-do for every single trip, especially if you're a huge Star Wars fan. And even if you're not, it is worth a visit at least once to see the amazing Imagineering that went into its construction. So these are some of the few awesome bars, lounges, and carts that you can get some great adult drinks. Have your favorites made the list? Are we missing any great locations? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all of our content. And hit the bell notification so that you know when the next video lands. Share this video with your friends. You can give them some ideas of where to chill with a cocktail on Disney property. If you're not a member of our adult only Facebook group, please join us. We have adult discussions on this topic and many others. And remember, never grow up.